got um, involved with Big Brothers and Big Sisters. I'm sure that's where we're going with this. Um, in 19, about 1980, I got, um, I decided to become a Big Brother. And I, I was matched with a young man by the name of Donnie Milner. And we stayed together for 10 years. Got him through it. Got him to graduate from high school. And then from that on, he moved up north and went on. And I kind of lost touch with him. And I see, you know, that's 40 years ago. So he's an adult man now. And uh, so that that was, we did a lot of things together. I, I did water skiing and we did backpacking in a mountain. You know, we did, I kept involved in activities. And so keep him uh, focused on school and away from the, his, uh, friends that were getting in trouble. So that's, you know, that's all you kind of expect. A lot of that, that's, that's all it is. Just taking an interest in him because he had a father who was disinterested, detached from the family. They were struggling, mother and father, mother and grandmother. They had health problems and, you know, all that kind of stuff. And so that's kind of rough for a kid, eight years of age. And uh, we have a lot of that in our community. So that's why Big Brothers does serve such a vital need in the community. And I've seen it, and we need more of it. Everybody should be a big brother. I think you get a lot out of it. Again, I got a lot out of it myself. Just seeing the young man uh, succeed to that point. He didn't, I'm sure he never went to college, so. But for, for him and his era, that was a, a big accomplishment, just getting, getting through high school. Do you still think about it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I wonder what happened to him. He, he stopped by when he was in town because his mother was still here. And, and then he just kind of drifted off and, you know, pursued his life, so. Well, Jack, if you could say something to him, what would you say? Well, Don, Don, Don I, I, uh, I, hopefully you've, you've got something out of our relationship and I hope that you've uh, become a very successful person, be it a dad or a husband. Yeah, or, or you know, uh, uh, any any uh, uh, role you you play in life that you succeed in. I hope that happens. Does anybody have Jack's lifetime achievement plaque? I don't know. I don't know, but maybe we lost it. You got me one. I do believe this is what you're looking for. Who is that? Come on up. Who is that? Do you recognize that voice? Introduce yourself, sir. Go ahead and take it. My name is uh, Donnie Milner. Uh, <laughs> Are you kidding me? So 50 years ago, I got involved in Big Brothers as a Big, bro big Brother to a young boy who we stayed together for 10 years. That experience demonstrated to me the importance of mentoring and the concept of how I could change the life of so many young boys and girls who desperately seek someone to look out for our guidance and nurture. I think that's proven tonight. This program is not only important to the little, littles who serve, but the bigs who give their time because it is a commitment. But you know, in the end, I think we, as bigs, get as much out of it as a little. It really is a very gratifying experience. Over the 55 years uh, of the Big Brothers' existence in the Central Valley, we've experienced many challenges, and we were able to overcome those challenges. And now we find ourselves in a position to grow these desperately needed services. Under the leadership of Diane, our esteemed CEO, and the wonderful staff and agency, we are serving four counties, and the need for our service continue to grow. There virtually is a waiting list for our services because the, the people in the school system see the impact. They see it every day. They see the grades go up. They see the truancy go down. So I know it works. We know it works, and they know it works, so they want this program. So it gives me great satisfaction and joy when I hear the wonderful stories shared by our staff. 
and reinforces my belief in Big Brother's mission. So I'm very grateful for many of you in our room who have supported the agency throughout the years. And you can be assured, the agency is very careful and frugal on how they use their resources. I am proud of this agency and feel very lucky to be in a position to help. And I really want to thank Diane for pulling this off. I mean, it, it, it's just absolutely amazing, folks. I mean, are we going to do a story about this, Mike? Jesus. My God. This is absolutely, I mean, this is an amazing story. So again, thank you and, and, and so much. Since we got this crowd here, Jim, we could probably have an auction tonight, you know? For, what the heck? Okay. So thank you again. Thank you, thank you. All right. All right. Don't, don't leave. I'm not going nowhere. Don't worry, don't worry. I'm not going anywhere. Oh my God.